What's up guys, how we doing? My name's Chris and today we're doing a review of the Cold Spark machine from our friends at Sheds. You know what? Cold Sparks are cool. You know who uses Cold Sparks? This guy. This guy. This guy. If you're DJing out today doing live events, this is a great effect that a lot of people are using. You have to do some research. You have to figure out if you can use it where you work but these are amazing, they're super cool, and they're definitely a wow factor type of item. It is a, listed as a 650 watt machine. Um, we're gonna look into that. Some, one of you guys pointed out that I should start checking some of this stuff. Um, so I don't know that it's actually 650 watts, but it doesn't really take anything away from it except for that it's probably not 650 watt. So this is a 13 pound machine right here. And if you're not familiar with cold sparks, it's uh, pretty simple really. It has a spark effect that comes out. They are sparks, but to touch they're cold. Um, I tried to light some paper on fire using them, couldn't do it. So they seem to be really safe. And from whatever I heard, they are safe. There is gonna be some dust particles that come out. So I'm not gonna set it off in here because I'm not gonna uh, have black spots on my ceiling. Um, so be cautious of that. I know some people go out with these, they'll either bring a, a little broom of some sort or some kind of a small vacuum cleaner to make sure they take care of everything. But there's the unit itself, it's 13 pounds. This comes in at $339. So it's $339 from Sheds. It is a cool little unit. As you can see, one of the things that I think is a little different from this one from others that I see is it does have these nice um, flip out handles so it's easy to carry and easy to transport. Um, not that they're not very, you know, they're only 13 pounds, so they're not too hard to move around. You have your full display on the back. This is uh, DMXable. You have PowerCon in and out, and then you have your DMX in and out, and you can link up the six units together with this um, and that would come into play if you wanted to really wanted to like use the remote control functions and whatnot which i'll show you it does come with a remote the remote works well it's pretty simple remote all right it's got your power button it's got actually a lot of buttons on it that you won't need unless you have a lot of units all right so basically your power on and you have three different levels of height high one high two high three i don't know why it doesn't say low medium and high something like that but you have a varying um, amount of height as far as the flame goes, as far as the cold sparks go. And it's between three and 15 feet, and it does have a margin error of error of about a one and a half feet, okay? Um, with DMX, which is two channel, you can, the first channel I believe takes care of the preheating, the power, an emergency stop, and cleaning the machine out. And then the second channel will allow you to go in five different steps from low to high. So uh, pretty cool. Do you need to DMX it? No, you don't. But if you're running it with a full light show and you want to be able to trigger it with one controller, be the way to go. Something like this, and if you link up the six machines, this will allow you to kind of set programs with them, basically meaning if you want it to go from left to right, if you have four machines in a row, six machines in a row, it'll go left to right, or middle out, back and in, stuff like that. So you have some control with that. Um, and basically, you got a cleaning button too. So that'll clean out the powders that are left in there at the end of the night. If you run it down to empty and you do that, it'll just make sure and kick everything out and run it as long as it needs to do that. I think it's about 30 seconds or so. And blast times on this, about 30 seconds is the max. I think that's pretty normal for all of them because they do have a really high powered heater in them that gets super hot and, um, and a motor. So they shoot flames out and uh, the cold sparks, all right? But that's pretty much all you got on this unit. You have, that's it. These things are, are pretty cut and dry. Before I forget, in the box, you do have your instruction manual. Instructions pretty thorough. And from Sheds, this is the uh, best manual I've seen. Um, so I'm not sure who's manufacturing these for them or where they're getting them. But this is a solid, solid, real instruction manual. It's not photocopied, it's not a print, it's actually glossy. Um, so this is different from Sheds. So it does have the information you need. It does tell you, it does have, it does have its precautionary stuff. So it's got fault lights and a heating light. So basically if it's on its side or something like that, it'll fault and it shouldn't work. Um, and it's got emergency start, blah, 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 blah. So this is good. This is a good thing. It also comes with a cable and it also comes with a DMX cable, which I don't know what I did with. It's probably still in the box and the remote. All right. Okay. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this thing in. We're gonna see how long it takes to heat up. I'll show you how to do that. If I can't see what I'm doing, got our speaker on our power con cable. Plug it in over here. And then we're gonna crank it on. Ooh. So we got the fan cranking up. Let's see what we got. I gotta get on your side. Say heat off. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the heat button, the power button. All right, so now we see that it's heating up and this remote is added. So basically what that means is each remote, you can get up to six of these kind of together and the remotes can separately work them and you can kind of program which remote uh, operates which machine. But um, now that we have the power, the power told it to lock up and now it's heating up. And then when this is all done, we'll know and we'll uh, see how long it takes to do that. And we'll just sit here and wait. While I'm doing that, I have another camera here. So I'm just gonna show you that we're measuring 298.4 watts currently. And we're pulling two and a half amps. And we should be pulling four and at 650 watts. Now I'll check this when I go outside and when I actually shoot it off and to see if that actually swings. But I think that the heating element being as, as tough as it is, is on these machines that um, that the power is not going to change from there. It's going to be 300 watts. So I don't know that this machine that says 650 watts is 650 watts, but we're like at, 300 and, at a $339 price point, And I think you are probably still getting a lot for your money, um, even if that's the case. Now that we saw that, there's not really much left to do, okay? The only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of the powder we bought, we're gonna dump it on in here, we're gonna take it outside and make some sparks. So we are outside, we got the uh, machine right here. We're gonna set it on up, we're gonna plug it on in and test this thing out. There's a little slight breeze today, so I'm a little worried about that, but um, let's check this thing out, see how it works. Unplug that. I think that's it. I think that'll be plenty. Plug her on in. Crank her on. We're gonna set this thing off shortly. Um, it is daytime, it will be hard to see. I do have some video of it at night um, that I did a while back uh, in the front of my house. Um, but I didn't quite get these pushes of the buttons for you guys and how to fill it up, etc. Obviously filling it up is super simple and anybody can do that. Um, although I did see somebody a long time ago do it backwards. Jump on. <laughs> All right, so this thing is ready to go. We're gonna give it a shot and we're gonna start with number one, go to number two, go to number three, and we'll let you know what's going on when we do it. Number one. What I do notice about this machine compared to some of the others that I see online is it doesn't seem to be as full spark wise, but that might be the powder. I'm gonna have to look into that because this is the only one I've ever had. Um, but I'll find out if it's the powder or not. But in the meantime, I mean, this thing works pretty good. You can see the remote works good. And you can actually change the speed. 
while you're doing it. And it is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so uh, any DJ that gets these will love playing with them for a little while. Um, and then uh, hopefully start selling them because it's an easy sell, I think. It's an easy sell. As long as you do it safely and the place that you're doing it allows you to use them, they're perfect. Um, they do give off some dust. I don't know if I can show you the dust or not. Yeah, you're gonna see it starting to form up on here. But you can see these granulars. You can see these granulars here. So they, um, they, they get on everything. Um, they go all over. It's hard to tell here because my deck is dirty, but these black spots are all from this machine just now. And granted, it's just it's it's like a dust, but it can smear a little bit. So you gotta be cautious of that. So there you have it. You have the cold spark machine from Sheds. Remote control works good. You saw that. Easy to do. I did flip it over and dump it out. And uh, when I dumped it out and then I went to clear it, before I cleared it, I shot out another burst. And that's the last one you saw, and the sparks were a little fuller, in my opinion. Um, actually, I believe they were fuller, but I'm not sure if it's the granules or if it's the fact that I hadn't run that much through. Because when I did take what I put in there, if you saw what I put in there, I took out almost almost exact amount. Um, I took out a ton. Um, so I probably should have ran a little more, but uh, it looked good. I liked it. Now, I did measure it with the uh, meter you saw, and I'm not sure if you could see it on screen or not. So I don't really think this is a 650 watt machine. I think maybe it should be a 450 watt machine or a 350 watt machine, somewhere in there um, from what I saw. But regardless, at $339, um, if you shop around, you'll see that it's uh, very fairly priced, even if it is less power um, compared to most. So I like it. Will I get another one? Not sure. Just because I'm not 100% sure if I want to deal with, you can use them, you can't use them. Do I have to call and find out? I'm a little lazy in that respect. But um, I have had clients ask if I had them, and then I've had weddings where I've done it and they've subcontracted that stuff out, and I'm kicking myself because uh, by the time they subcontract it out, they're making about half as much as me for uh, press and go a few times. So I think that they're a good addition as long as your venues allow you to do it. So once again, the Sheds Spark Machine, 650 watt cold spark. Check it out, link is below. Thanks again for watching. Thank you.